So I'm Ooh, that was a save. Do you see that? Oh dang. That almost fell. Put on the draw box on this started rolling. So guys, this is the the bows that are going on that trailer. Got them picked up at the at the power coding shop. And you can kind of guess the color, right? <laughs> so yeah. It uh, matches the back of this trailer. I wish I can get that trailer power cord. Oh, and purple also straps. And uh, purple. So yeah, you can say I like purple. <laughs> so I'm gonna be installing them. Well, this one for now, because the back one I gotta drill holes in the bottom. Because this one's already got the holes to mount it. Wait, where's the other? Wait, where's the other hole for the mounting? Oh, I think it's this other one then. Got the holes here to mount it. Wait, what the heck is going on? Oh yeah. Right here. Wait, where's the other hole? There's two holes, right? Yeah. Where the heck is the other hole? I am very confused right now. Oh, shoot, they? I gotta unpack and see what the heck's going on. There's supposed to be two holes right there. It goes on that bracket. Yeah, two holes. So let me un unpack it. What is going on? <laughs> I'm packing. Man, that is a beautiful purple. <laughs> that is beautiful. I'm gonna do a couple more pieces in this <laughs> purple. Look at that. Oh. That's exactly the purple. I had to kind of pick this purple out of the booklet they had. But that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous purple. So let me figure out this whole situation and I'll try to record a video of me mounting it. Okay, so it's this one that's inside the car. It's got these um, plates that it mounts to with bolts. That goes. Just look at that purple, oh my goodness. I wish I could do my trailer, the back of the trailer, this power coating. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. Can you imagine my tr back of the trailer was like that? Beautiful.
the reason I like going this way is uh, to go around the main highway, I-5, 405. That's where all the traffic people are going to work, Bellevue, Seattle, Renton, Microsoft, uh, Boeing. So I go this way, it's like 10, 15 minutes longer, the GPS shows, but that's before traffic. So, and I, I leave kind of in between, like I leave at five o'clock, but I'm like one hour, an hour away from all the traffic, all the traffic starts, so I take off to this boat trail. It still doesn't show the traffic times. So I think if I do go the, well actually I know if I go the other way, it's about the same, because yesterday I was going through here, and uh, the gas station when I got fuel, there was a truck in front of me that left, like a minute or two before me, and then uh, when I got back on I-90, I, I beat him going up the pass, actually before the pass, yeah, even before the pass, I beat him, so... I didn't lose much if I would've went the other way. So the traffic kinda balances it out and here I just, you know, it's a goat trail obviously, but a little bit windy here and there, but it's beautiful. And uh, no stop and go traffic. And you just keep going. Like look how beautiful it is. Another load of potatoes again. I think I'll be doing one tomorrow as well. And if everything goes as planned, after tomorrow's potato load, I might run and go get some wheat mitts and uh, drop those off and might get some bark Friday morning, drop off the wheat mitts and then after that load, go pick up some bark bring it towards home so if that goes all according to plan if not I'll just keep running the potatoes the rest of the week so I don't know we'll see what, to, what Friday brings what they need for Friday so Consider this a dirty trailer. There goes my pops. He's going to pick up the meat, wheat mitts. I just got. Okay, saw the little clip of me washing out a little bit. So, it's the retaining pond. I wonder what they. It's from the. From the washout they have a couple ponds that goes over and over and over and then they send the water who knows where probably to get uh, recycled and put it for drinking water for the normal regular folks trust me I've heard it before there's a couple of cow farms in the United States that have really good uh, clean farms and they got a, a recycling system where they just Cow farmers use a lot of water to wash down all the poops. So they have systems to to clean out the water. And I'm like, where do, well, here's the thing. In the, in the county that we live in, he's like, they actually do that in the county that we live in. And it goes back into the system for drinking water and stuff. I don't know. Don't quote me on it, but that's what one of the farmers told me. So, yeah, it's a little story for you guys. And I, I think, I, yeah, I did look it up and actually, or they're planning to do that, or they're going to do that, or they're already doing that. I just don't remember, this is like a year ago and I talked to the farmer, so. But he said that only, only like four or five farms in the United States got approved for it, and they have to be a really like good, clean, 
farm, so I guess they were a pretty good clean farm, and they were allowed to use that system, or using it, again, don't quote me on it, but yeah. Like always, my uh, windshield's dirty, but took a nap in Moses Lake, and uh, next thing I know, I see somebody roll up. Buddy Mark, interrupting my sleep over here. Good to catch up. I haven't seen the guy running here in a while. I used to run here all the time. I used to I'm pretty much see him here every day. Now that I'm running, I was running one at you. I haven't seen the guy in forever, so 